My name is Akeem Bloomfield. I, I'm a student at Kingston College and I'm doing the 100 and the 200 meters at Boys and Girls Champs. All right, here with Akeem Bloomfield, new sprint sensation at Kingston College. Akeem, welcome. Hello. All right, Akeem, Champs, you know, you ran your personal best 10.42 last week at the Carifta Trials. He came second behind Ryan Chambers who ran 10.28. But your, your PR was 11.97 last year. What are the main reasons for, for such drastic improvements, Akim? Well, when I ran 11.97, I was, I was a jumper. And um, this year, when I came back to, to, no, last year, September, when I came back to, to, to training, they told me that it was time to do the sprint, so I just decided from there I trained hard, and this, that's the, this is the result of my training. Alright, so you preferred the jumps? Well, yes, I preferred the jumps. So what do you think about the sprinting now? You're doing pretty well. Um, well, not as good as I, I want to perform, but I'm, I'm happy with my um, performances thus far. You had some injury problems last year, right? Yes. How is that going? Well, um, last year when I came back, the, um, they knew that I had um, some problems with my hips and my groin. Well, we just worked, we took a month and a month, practically a month and a half, and we just worked through them, strengthening programs, and yeah, they, they got fixed. So you're 100% now? <laughs> well, not 100%, but I'm getting there. Speaking of hips, it's normally a problem for tall sprinters. I remember you saying had it. Is Usain one of your role models? Well, yes, Usain is one of my role models, but my greatest role model is um, Hansel Parchment since he came to Kingston College. All right, Akeem, you're a new sensation now. A lot of people have been talking about you since that, that brilliant 10.4 you ran at JC. How has your life changed since? Are, and are you feeling any pressure? Well, um... I don't see any drastic change in my life. It's just that now people pay more attention to me. And uh, yeah, but I don't feel any pressure because I tell myself that it, it doesn't make any sense that I pressure myself because I will get nowhere with that. Even with the heightened expectations? <laughs> well, people will always, to, to who much is given, much is expected. And I mean, I, I don't really put myself out to perform for what people expect. I just do my, go there and do my best at all times. Speaking of expected, what are the expectations for yourself come champs? I mean, you'll be going up against Raheem Chambers. He's a big man in class too. What are your expectations for yourself? Objectives? Well, um, I just plan on going to boys and girls champs, making both the 100 and 200 metre final and just scoring maximum points. The, the maximum points I can for my school. A lot of people are just getting familiar with Akeem Bloomfield. Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> well, uh, apart from being a student athlete at Kingston College, I mean, um, I, uh, in, in the future, I would like to be a, a cardiologist. And uh, yeah, I'm just a fun person. I work hard and I, I, I shall achieve my goals. A lot of people are shocked, saying you came from nowhere. Give us some, you know, background information about Akeem Bloomfield as it relates to track and field. Well, in, in prep school, people do not know this, but in prep school I was a double sprint champion. I came to Kingston College in 2009. And in grade 7, I, um, they, they had called, they knew the, the, the track and field uh, management team. They knew that I came to the school and... Um, they sent for me, but I told myself that for the first year of, of school, I would focus on academics. After that, in, in grade 8, I, when I was planning on coming back to track and field, I was tricked by a, a horrible skin disease and I had to sit out. Practically three more years or two more years after that. But um, it, it caused, with that skin disease, any time I came out in the sun, I, I, I had blemishes and it, just, it was just really bad. And I had to sit out a lot of time for that. Um, I came back to track and field in grade, mainly grade 10. I'm in grade 11 now, I'm a fifth form student. When I came back to track and field in grade 10, I was struck by so many injuries. Um, I was growing and my body wasn't used to the, the, the training as yet. And um, came back in fifth form. I went back to the jumps program 
and they just came and said it's time to, to do the sprints. So yes, that's that's it. Well, Akim, you're doing very well in the sprints. Continue to ri to rise, and all the best at champs. Thank you.